peeps welcome back to my channel y'all how are you it's so good to have you back i am so happy to have you guys here i just want to go ahead and say thank you so much to all of you who have donated to the channel um, who are here who are present who have been so fabulous with all of your comments all of your feedback um, and i hope this has been a wonderful sacred space for you and I hope it continues to be that okay so I was inspired to do a quick meditation video okay maybe a very short video here um, this is not going to be a video that is extensive meditation was always a flow for me and it still is um, you know, there is no right or wrong way. You know, my style is very free. I, I really enjoy doing things based off of what feels right for you. So not so much of step by step, but I am going to go ahead and invite a very beautiful energy around flowing. Okay, so the flow is really a about allowing a style to fit you allowing a style to you know feel comfortable for you yeah so let's go ahead before we start I do want to go ahead and say thank you again for all of you for liking sharing commenting subscribing and if you have not done so please do so okay please do not forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded also my loves if you guys are interested, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on right now. Please be a part of it. I also have um, complimentary Reiki sessions on my Instagram posts. Um, I'm trying to do as much of, you know, just kind of sharing and, and really experiencing on my page. So if you guys would like to be a part of it, please join me on my small but growing community. I do have intuitive paintings, okay? Um, I've been trying to share that as well. So what I do with it is I clear the energies based off of what I'm feeling collectively, including myself. So if I'm in a meditative state and I feel that we are in a, you know, um, I'm channeling some kind of storm or I'm channeling some kind of negativity, I usually like to help with clearing, you know, especially um, with paintings such as this, okay? One of my favorites. So let's go ahead and talk about meditation. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Psychic Medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium and I do offer mediumship based readings. All that information is priced down below. My loves, I am not doing video requests at this time. I am only doing, um, emailed request okay based off of just restrictions on time so wow we are here oh my gosh you guys so let's talk about it okay meditation is a flow okay it's a flow it's not perfect so let's talk about it it's not perfect it doesn't have to be consistent if you don't feel like it's consistent. It doesn't have to look a certain way. Um, you know, one of the things that I spoke to um, an old friend about was a style of meditation. You know, we discussed that they like to, uh, you know, skateboard and meditate. For me, and, and this is not saying you cannot because I'm very much about I can or you can. So whatever feels right for your flow. My only personal opinion around meditation is it has to be, for me, it really means a sacred space, a temple where you are still. This is what meditation is. You know, um, whenever I get a chance, I try to read as, as much into Buddhism as possible. And I really recommend it if that resonates for you. Even if you can only do a page, you guys, a day or whatever, um, you know, try to fit it into your schedule. It's really amazing. And um, audio, book audio, um, I just started getting into that. I'm more of a visual. So really explore ways you can add it to your day. 
um, meditation, you guys, stillness of the mind, um, especially because we're moving through a time where there's a lot of um, intensity when we watch the news. I don't watch the news. I don't watch TV like a lot of you, I'm sure, okay? Um, I chose to, you know, detach from television when I was 25, and I haven't watched it since. So one of the things, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because media, I took a class on media and the psychology of media, there's always marketing around media, right? And so there's always a lot of, uh, there's a purpose, there's also a lot of behavioral stuff around it and how they kind of market it around how we're going to, you know, experience it. And there's nothing wrong with marketing, you guys. Business is business, but um, you have a choice, right? So number one, what are you consuming on a day-to-day in terms of your mind, in terms of your environment? Some of us, you know, do not have the luxury, right? It depends where we are in life. Sometimes we don't have our own place. Sometimes we're looking for a place. Sometimes we don't have all the stability or the security that we're looking for. Sometimes, you know, we're, we're kind of up in the air with our environment. So how can we bring... Um, quiet and stillness into our environment. Number one, um, I highly recommend monitor, you know, like a level of, you know, uh, I don't want to say restricting, but, you know, watch what you're consuming on a day to day, whether it's through music, whether it's through words, through thoughts, through your own experiences, what is it that you are consuming on a day to day? Also, You know, television is up in the air, you guys. Do what you need to do, but um, maybe, you know, limit how much of it that you're watching. I only say this. This is for everyone. It's not, you know, just a a pocket of, of people or, you know, this is a collective energy. Um, reading versus television. Try to enhance, you know, your life a little bit more with books, with learning, or just experiencing a storyline from, you know, a place of reading. So this in itself is for my, you know, my own opinion, okay? Take it as it resonates. This is a way of meditation for our brain to take a break. It's more of the stimulus that we're moving through, right? A lot of the the brain activity, a lot of what is it that we're really taking in? Um, Some of us are very anxious. Some of us are empathic. Some of us are high strung. Some of us are, are chill, you know, but either way, what are we consuming, right? Part of meditation is choosing something where our consumption is going to be stillness, it's going to be self-mastery. So starting off your day, um, I try to meditate in the morning and it's not always possible. I'm always out the door. I'm always trying to, you know, they're high, 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 very high anxiety about life, especially if you are in a position where you feel unstable or you're trying to kind of, you know, do everything all at once. If you're there with me, then yes, this is going to be perfect. This is going to be more of a grounding meditation, okay? So what I want you guys to do, I like to go in prayer. Do what feels good for you. I am not here to dictate. I don't, I don't like telling people what to do. Um, I just like guiding, okay? I'm a guide here. So this is what I like to do when I meditate, okay? I, I go into prayer right here the middle of the head, okay? This is our portal of what we are perceiving. This is our state of perception. Okay, this is a very, very still state, a balanced state. I always start with a prayer, something to clear the air, clear the energy. And what I've noticed when I'm really stressed out, there's a lot of chatter in my head. Um, Sometimes, you know, when people know that you're intuitive, there's some maliciousness around it. And there's a forceful energy around trying to kind of manipulate your energy. Or if you are around people who are just not happy, okay, with you, with their environment. So here we, you know, it's a human experience. We are here to just accept 
what is and we're moving on to the next step with love and compassion I like to start here so this is about stillness okay sit on the floor sit on the grass wherever you are take a few minutes you guys even if it's just two I like to put a crystal on my head okay because a lot of the time um, you know I have to be very strong in life and I it's like it takes a level of closing my, my my empathy a little bit okay so if you are in a position where you're in survival mode or you're trying to transition into a better mental state you know often we close our our portal of enlightenment Okay. Um, also, when you're under psychic attack, this is where people tend to attack you. So, uh, again, I don't think it's malicious. It's just some people are and some people just, you know, it just is what it is right now. We are, we are all navigating. We're all learning. Okay. We're all healing. We're all trying to work through it. So this is a state of stillness for me. And I like to kind of do this. And I like to say gratitude, what I'm grateful for. Okay. For instance, I'm grateful for a conversation that I had with the creator, right? I'm grateful for the conversation that I had with our Lord. Um, if you guys are not, you know, religious, it could be your inner light, your inner wisdom, whatever you choose. So, you know, I was in a state of grace and I said, I'm really grateful because I need to feel light, you know, um, I'm grateful for the floor that I'm sitting on, I'm grateful for, you know, the, the air that I'm breathing, whether it doesn't matter what quality it is, you know, I'm grateful for the experience of waking up every morning. When you're in a state of gratitude, you really open yourself up to a, a different experience, and you really open yourself up to a level of compassion that I feel like this world is is really... Um, it's like everyone's so challenged around, including myself, around opening our hearts, you know, for different reasons. So when we're in a state of grace ourselves, when we're in a state of gratitude, we can open ourselves up to something a lot deeper in life, okay? So, wow, right? I like to start it off with thank you. Thank you. And I move on from that, moving forward. So a lot of the time, if we are in a position where we're misunderstood, a lot of the time we are projecting, right? So how can we start our morning with that projection? How can we start our morning without um, inflicting pain on others that doesn't belong to them, right? So this is about a state of grace and a state of gratitude. being mindful of each other. This is what I have to do about three times a day. Um, you know, compassion wasn't easy for me ever. It was something that I had to, you know, open my heart to. And I gave, I gave my heart to, to light. This is what kept opening my heart up no matter what. And this is what I asked the creator. I said, I really need my light, right? I cannot move and navigate this light life without light. I have to have compassion. I have to have love for people because we are, we, we, you know, if we really filter through all the things that we need in life, it's love, acceptance, and a sense of fulfillment. We're very easy people, but we're very complex in behavior. So here we are in this state, right? You could cross your legs, you could stretch out. I like to cross my legs and once I'm done in prayer, you could also close your eyes through this video. I like to kind of cup my hands, okay? I like to do this at the top of my knees, okay? Often, lately, because I've had a million things going on in my head, there's so much anxiety or there's so much pain around my life. 
um, because I'm not dealing with things head on. I'm not crying. And I, you know, we all have our process, whether we verbalize our process of trauma and pain or whether we don't, you know, we always work through it. And this is what I love about people. Humanity is that we are so, we're like a box of Pandora, you know, you never know what, what, what kind of behavior we're going to have, but we all work through it differently. You know, we sit and some of us are going to cry. Some of us are going to feel angry, anxious, but there's wisdom around anxiety. There's wisdom around not being able to be still. What is our state here? What is it that we're learning in stillness? We have to deal, right? One of the things I tell myself, I have to cry in doses, I cannot cry all at once, so I'll, I'll drive, I'll listen to a song, and, and I'll drop a few tears, and I say, okay, this is as much as I can do right now. I have to kind of limit it. I can't do it all at once, right? And the reason why, you know, sometimes we control it, sometimes we don't. If you guys have the space where you can really free flow the tears, allow them to teach you, allow your emotions to really give you an outlet, allow your life, you know, to make you feel that it's okay to, to be vulnerable, that it's okay to be human. So here we are in a meditative state. Deep breath. The biggest thing is turning off the mind's chatter, right? If you are intuitive, you know when people are thinking about you, you know when people are, you know, cursing you out in their head. You know when or you can feel it. You know it when people are, you know. And it's, it's like I had to learn myself. I have to detach from their expectation of me because I cannot control their mind, right? I don't want to control people's mind. So here we take a deep breath. And just breathe. The breath can be big. It can be, right? Or it could be, <laughs> or it could be soft, right? What feels good? Sometimes we're frustrated. We need to let a big breath out. This is what I did with my kids when I worked with my kids. We, you know, I taught them a lot about breath work because there's always so much, you know, tension around the day. Um, and it's not easy. My kids, meaning, you know, my case managing students. And, you know, so we would just kind of sit during lunch in group or one-on-one -on -one and you just, okay, take a deep breath, hold it, hold it. You'll, what you're going to feel is tension rise up. And then let go. Okay, let's do it again. You can do it with me. Hold it. Right, one more. I always like to do three. I want you guys to try to focus on stillness. Don't judge your thoughts. Let your thoughts do what it's going to do. It's not about controlling the mind. It's really about controlling the breath. Okay? Just control the breath. So. And once you're done with the deep breaths, you can sit within your heart. I always try to sit within my heart. I just got a Reiki session done by someone random that I didn't know. and <laughs> The report was really intense about my heart. And sometimes it's going to be like that, right? So we do what we can. Let's sit with our heart. What is our heart telling us? With a deep breath. What is our heart telling us?
right? And then after you're done breathing, you guys, as long as that takes you, I really recommend doing this um, in stillness, but if you need a little bit of music, do it with a little bit of music. Just try to sit and just breathe without, you know, the noise. I want you guys to do it with me. Try it with me. So I want you to continue the process. And just every breath so what I want you to do we you can try square breathing so that's that's my favorite because I'm so tense hold it hold it a little bit out hold it right release the shoulders okay just, and, and kind of every breath, just drop your shoulders, you guys. Just get into that experience. If you feel like it's hard to do, please do not judge yourself. Don't control it. Just allow the process to just... This is about non-judgmental practices, okay? Just because it's not perfect, you'll get there when you feel you're ready. Okay, and just drop a little bit more. Sometimes what helps me is I put my hand, I have a lot of uh, resentment and a lot of grief in my life. So what I try to do is I, I cup my hands here. Right here. This is our ascending heart. And I imagine a river kind of just cleansing a lot of my pain, okay? The water is my, my element. I love the water. So you can choose the element, you guys. Just don't, don't self-harm in your head, please. Okay, be, be kind. Be gentle to yourself. <laughs> We're all quirky. We all, you know, do interesting things. And I usually like to go right here. This is this is specifically one of my centers here. Okay, this is what we do. A lot of the time we're just anxious. We have depression or it doesn't even have to be like that. But, you know, it just could be we're having a day and we're so frustrated. Um... I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, cry it out because it's not easy for me to cry it out. I can't just cry. So what I like to do is I like to pull over or I like to just process. I'm just sharing my experiences with you. Paint. I like to paint. Um, and it has nothing to do with other people. It has to do with the way I'm taking in the information or what's happening around me. One thing I'll share with you about meditation is it really heals my anger because it's usually when I've reached my max with my pain and I need to cry or I need an outlet, right? Or there's something wrong in my life. And I remember having a moment where I realized, wow, like, something's really off in my life. I have to tune in, you know, and I want you guys to cup it right here, right here by the throat, because this is where we have such a hard time, you guys, expressing our frustration, so right here, um, yeah, you know, meditation really helped me channel my anger, that was my biggest thing, which is why it's such a trigger for me. Uh, and everyone around me, I grew up in a high intense, very intense environment um, where there was a lot of violence and there was a lot of pain. So 
I remember thinking to myself, am I ever going to be able to contain my own stuff? That was one of my mother's biggest concerns. Why are you so angry? What are you so angry about? And I just never knew how to express it, right? I was a kid, but still, I never knew. I just, I would just react. (laughs) So meditation was my thing. It was just, it was what felt good. It was, it it literally channeled my, my frustration, right? It channeled my frustration. So right here, I want you guys to put your hands right here at the center. So that's right by the throat middle, right before the heart, the sternum. So in this moment, you can still take your breaths. You guys, I want you to close your eyes and enjoy this moment. Think about all the beautiful things in your life, you know, even when, uh, when you feel like you don't have it all. It could just be your pet. It could be new socks. I love new socks. Um... <laughs> It could be, you know, um, thank you. Just thank you for another day. Um, That was my thing every morning when I'd wake up growing up. Thank you for another day. Um, Thank you for the birds, right? So this is a mid-break, mid-day. Big, big thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. I love you guys. And once you feel like you're ready, you can, you know, try this video over and over, you guys. You can really, I really like to place my hands on my heart. So this could be right here, the the throat center and the heart. You could keep it here the whole time and breathe and try to relax your shoulders. Okay, a lot of us, this is where we hold it. Right? We're so restrained. We can't say anything. We can't, you know, we, we're not talking about our story. We're not sharing our story. Right? A lot of us don't have time. We're busy. We're, we're working. We're trying to figure it out. We're healing. We're, you know. So, okay. And I hope that was helpful. I love you.